We are here joined by the Dr. Fabrice Ambrosio from the University of Pittsburgh as part of the fourth annual uh, symposium on regenerative medicine. But I would like the Dr. Ambrosio to talk about some new initiatives that, uh, that, that she is leading regarding regenerative medicine and the role that uh, rehabilitation can play on that. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ambrosio. Thank you, Carmen. Um, well, we are thrilled to be here um, this year at the Mayo Clinic to hold uh, our fourth annual symposium. Um, the symposium really started as an effort um, between Pittsburgh and Stanford and has expanded to include our partners, um, UCSF and the Mayo Clinic. And we're particularly excited to have brought on some new partners this year, uh, including Kyoto University, uh, the University of Virginia, Emory University and the University of Pisa. So um, because we're starting to assemble uh, many different partners in um, a, trying to map out a strategic vision for um, this field of regenerative rehab, um, we've decided to form um, an international consortium for regenerative rehab. And again, here our goal is to really try and um, explore um, initiatives and programs that we can develop that can um, address this great potential to synergize the field of um, regenerative medicine with rehabilitation science. We know that um, the combination of the two fields really um, offers great promise for being able to maximize um, physical functioning in, in individuals uh, after injury, uh, disease or, for example, with aging. Dr. Ambrosio, can you tell us something, uh, what is the good news or news regarding the Alliance for Regenerative uh, Rehabilitation? Mm -hmm. Well, we are so excited to have learned uh, just recently that the National Institute of Health has decided to fund um, our Alliance for uh, Regenerative Rehabilitation Research and Training. And um, uh, this is a partnership, of course, between uh, the University of Pittsburgh, Stanford, uh, UCSF, and the Mayo Clinic. And so so these are the four institutions have come together and the goal is really to try and promote regenerative rehabilitation um, research and science um, really through two main pillars. The first pillar being the establishment of um, various um, educational and didactic resources. So we have the intention of assembling a, um, a massive online open course or a, a, or a MOOC. Uh, we also will be developing a series of online webinars and um, as well as an advanced uh, training course which will be a one-week course that will offer a series of lectures as well as hands-on laboratory experiences. So the idea there with um, the, the educational and didactics component of our center is to really promote interactions and kind of exposure of individuals in the rehabilitation field to common um, techniques and tools um, typically employed in the field of regenerative medicine and conversely also to kind of expose individuals working in regenerative medicine to some of the methodologies that we commonly implement in rehabilitation field. Now, as a second part of this center, um, we are really dedicated to promoting research in regenerative rehabilitation. As a part of this, then, we plan to launch a series of pilot funding programs, um, sabbatical experiences where, uh, for example, a rehabilitation clinician or scientist can go and spend some time at one of the, um, the nation's leading um, laboratories um, in regenerative medicine uh, research. And these laboratories come from the Mayo Clinic, uh, UCSF, uh, Pittsburgh and Stanford. And so they then can spend some time learning critical um, uh, methodologies in the laboratory. And hopefully this will really catalyze new collaborations between investigators in the field of regenerative medicine and rehabilitation. So we're really excited about the potential for this new center to kind of stimulate um, uh, regenerative rehabilitation efforts. And um, we're excited to um, seeing where it takes us. Thank you very much, Dr. Ambrosio. This is uh, very exciting, and uh, I think there is a great future of that and the role that rehabilitation physicians can play in the regenerative field. Thank mm -hmm. you.